I would never go hunting. Not, there's no way that I would ever go hunting. Just hold it right the shoulder. Oh my god, dude. This is a lot. This is like heaven. Look at all this. My name is Merle, and I'm a vegan. I'm vegan for environmental reasons, but I'm also a pretty hardcore animal lover. I was in Montreal and there were these people, they're called anonymous and they were screening factory footage in like a town square and I caught myself just like staring at the TV and someone came up to me and was like, hey, if you're interested at all, try going vegan for 30 days. And so I did and I felt really good. And after that, I was just like, I think I'm done. I don't think I wanna be handcuffed to anybody for 24 hours, let alone a person that I've never met. And knowing you guys, I feel like this is gonna be like a hardcore person that like comes in wearing pigskin or something. I'm nervous. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> I'm Kelsey Rose. I'm nice to meet you. My name is Kelsey Rose. I started eating meat because I grew up in Tokyo and so we ate a lot of fish and a lot of chicken there. But I also do hunt. <laughs> I'm a big hunter. So I've grown up hunting with my dad. After you have finished your hunt, you have to field dress all the animals, which means that you need to basically remove the meat from the rest of the animal. So when you field dress a dove, you start with the head and you tear the head off. And then you go to the wings and you tear them, you tear them out and there's like a snap so you know that they've like been removed out. And then with your fingers, you go into the breastbone and you basically rip it apart and then you have your, your breast meat. No. No, I'm not prepared to do that. I don't want to do that. I mean, it's cool that you do that. I have no, no desire to do that. <laughs> Let's do it. So here you go. Um, I don't even know how to work handcuffs. I think that's a good. All right, let me watch. <laughs> My hands are sweating. This is going great. <laughs> okay, I think we're. I think we're in. Yeah, girl. Even when you're handcuffed, LA traffic sucks. Always. <laughs> Maybe especially. <laughs> oh, it's so yummy. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna talk to the butcher and see what came in fresh today and what we wanna make for dinner. We're gonna see where all the magic happens, guys. Oh my God, dude, this is a lot. Oh yeah. I'm seriously gonna gag. Oh my God, I can't. They're, they're tattooed, I can't. I'm so proud of you for doing that. That was awesome. Yeah, I'll go into a garden with you. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a fair trade-off. Knowing where your meat comes from and, and getting it from a store that does kill them humanely and uses all parts of the animal is super important to me. I just have to say, like the phrase killed humanely is a little bit of an oxymoron. Yes. Yeah. But if you are going to kill an animal, sure. kill it the most humane way. Okay, that, there we go. We can settle on that. In exchange for going to the butchery, uh, we are now going to get the ingredients for what I'm gonna make for dinner at an artisanal mainstream grocery store. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's great. Your section. Okay, great. My, my safe space. What kind of vegetables do we need? <laughs> oh, I could have grabbed that. I left the card, sorry. Hello again. So we went for our grocery run, got a ton of mushrooms and all, basically all vegetables. Like there's just so many potatoes. My question really is what she's, how she's going to feed me with nutritional yeast seasoning. This is the cheese sauce, quote unquote cheese sauce for the vegan mac and cheese. Let me just say like, I would not make this for myself every day. I, this is a lot of effort. But... It looks like we're eating food from the famine. Um, <laughs> eight. Here we go. Eight. We've reached the meat portion. So here we go. My moment to shine. I like to smear it in duck fat. This might look really gross to some people, but look at that. Oh yeah. How do they so, get duck fat? I don't think you really want to know. Oh yeah. Listen, I'm vegan. I know this is gonna piss a lot of people off, but the meat looks good. <laughs> so instead of making this, which is like beautiful, thick cut bacon, we're making this. 
damn skippy we are. It could be bacon. It smells really good and I love mushrooms, so um, I'm excited to I'm excited to try it. It's really difficult to eat in handcuffs, so I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> They're really yummy. I'm very impressed. They do have like a bacon texture. They kind of have the fat from the shiitake. Yeah, though. it totally like, and there's a good crunch to it. So I'm very, I've learned, I've learned a new recipe today. And I will say, even though this mac and cheese has taken hours, <laughs> it is really good. This is like horrifying and like so sad at the same time. Many are still struggling as they are dumped upside down in tanks of steam and water. Like why would you beat a pig if you're already gonna kill it? Like these people have like sadistic points of view because like I think if everybody if they wanted to eat meat had to go hunt their own meat a lot of people probably wouldn't eat meat. But because we've created an industry where they literally factory farm and they like, like plump them up with steroids After and stuff like that, sticking, you know what I mean? Pigs are shackled, suspended on a bleed rail, and immersed in scalding tanks to remove their bristle. Also, like one thing I'll say is like I didn't stop eating meat because I don't like meat. Like I love yeah. meat. I don't. It, it's not something I did like because I was like I think I'll just yeah. This is an easy thing to do. I'll stop eating this thing I love, but. For me, it's like, it's just my choice, right? And I yeah. can still want, I can still desire meat occasionally. Like I used to fucking love steak. I used to eat lobster. Like I love that shit. But this is more important to me, so that's why I stopped. Ugh, this I is know. gross. This, I'm really glad we ate dinner before we watched this. I yeah. I know. <laughs> there's a kind of an art to this. And yeah, there's not. It's chaos. And we have a super fun day planned for tomorrow um, that's but both half vegan, half meat eater, so whatever that means. We're at a shooting range and we're going to shoot some ski today. Oh. Woo. I think the camera's making you better. Okay, now that we're unhandcuffed, I can be honest, I'm wearing the hat, feeling, acting really confident, but in reality, I am absolutely terrified to be shooting a gun right now. I don't like guns, I don't like the kickback, I'm nervous that I'm not gonna hit anything, and I am completely and totally out of my comfort zone, but I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Look at my little girl, my little vegan. She looks pretty natural, I'm not gonna lie. Slide it forward. Okay. And now it's loaded. Okay. Don't pull the trigger. Okay. Oh God, this thing is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so proud of her. <laughs> pull it back. Right. <laughs> what do you think? I have got to admit, that was so fun. I'm like all fired up right now, and I will probably do this again. And she kicked butt. You got a lot. Like, I actually hit more than once, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. I'm about to like do a cartwheel or something. Once they put the gun down. Not with the gun. <laughs> I'm really proud because it's nice to have like another badass woman to yeah. come do this with. Women holding it down out in the field. What do you call this thing? Yeah. Range. The range. Out yeah. The range. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready for another round? No. <laughs> I think my cheek needs a rest. Okay. So. My girl Merle has been so open-minded and I'm so happy because not a lot of vegans, not a lot of people would be down to go to a shooting range. I know we're not hunting, but, uh, oh my God, she made it, yes! But she is kicking butt and I appreciate going through this process with someone who is open-minded and who's down to kind of see how I live my life as I am open to see how she lives hers, so. I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked. It's been a really good day. I, I kind of don't want this 24 hours to end. Um, maybe we can hang out not handcuffed. Yeah, just a suggestion. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what a crazy 24 hours it has been. I think the biggest surprise was that Kelsey and I actually had much more in common than we ever thought we would. Um, even though she's a meat eater, even though she's a hunter, 
and after the challenge I have no interest in becoming a hunter or eating meat again. I will say that she did show me a way of consuming meat that I think was more responsible and more honest. Um, the fact that she hunts her own meat and she sees she sees the thing that dies for her um, and she sees it up close and she you know cleans it herself and does the whole thing. I actually have respect for that and even though it's not how I choose to eat and I don't necessarily think that that might be a sustainable model for everyone to consume meat, I do think it's something for more people to consider and at the end of the day she's completely right. She knows where her meat comes from. She goes out of her way to spend a little more to eat meat that's healthy and eat meat that ideally has had a better life. So our common enemy is factory farming and even though we have two totally different ways of confronting it, I'd say that we're both doing our part in one way or another.